Guys, I am so excited to explore this tool together. We are doing this together live. I am looking at ZCal. This is being toted as the next generation of a better version of Calendly. If you're not already familiar with Calendly, it is a service that lets you basically automate your bookings. I have a whole video about how to use that as an assistant and how it makes you look like a more professional VA. Um, but the thing is, you have to pay for a Calendly plan if you intend to send more than one type of invitation to people. Enter ZCal, which is completely, utterly free 100% of the time. The thing that makes this better than Calendly is that you get to personalize it. Um, something else that I think is really cool is that you can actually add a little video before the call. If this works out, as I think it's going to work out, Zcal is going to be the thing that I use for sure instead of Calendly because as VAs, when we're talking to potential clients for the first time, giving a little bit more information, especially in video a form about uh, what your services are and how you can help this client could be a game changer. All right, so uh, let's sign up together. This is just as exciting as it is for me as for you. Did I say that right? Okay, awesome. I just signed up and they've already pulled my profile photo and the time zone that I have my laptop in. Cool, I'm actually good with both of those. So points for being fast. All right, let's fill out your company. It's gonna be my name. Personal info, share what makes you unique to make meetings feel like coffee chats. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, here's what I might do then. Since we're VAs using this to connect with potential clients, instead of doing the I, 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 me, 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 I might try to craft something that makes me seem more worth, more worthwhile to my clients. Okay, there we go. Uh, so I just put in my specialty niche. One of them is corporate travel. Uh, a few more details about me, if you didn't already know, digital nomad and big time coffee enthusiast as seen here. Okay, I'm popping in my social media links. I cannot wait to see how this all looks together. Okay, now this is very similar after you set your default times. This is um, very similar to Calendly. I personally, do not take calls on Monday or Friday. Great, all right, I've got that set up. So can't wait to see what this looks like. All right, so we've got a couple quick start tips over here on the side. Okay, so we've created two links to get started. Book a test meeting, connect with your Zoom account, that's great. And connect with your work or personal calendar accounts. That's awesome. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm confirming that they've already connected to my calendar. That's awesome. I do want to connect this to my Zoom. All right, connecting to my Zoom. Um, I hate to say it, but points for Calendly on this one because Calendly gives you more options. You can connect to Google, um, Google Meets, Zoom, I think even WebEx. Um, you can connect to a straight to a phone number. Um, so you definitely have more flexibility in how clients can connect with you. Uh, but having said that, thanks to the pandemic, Zoom uh, definitely had a rise in popularity. So uh, not hating that at least I don't have an option to automatically connect to Zoom. But if you're looking for more, um, more options, uh, Calendly definitely has this one beat. Um, but hey, points, points for Zcal for being free and uh, letting me add something like a little tagline. I like that a lot. Okay, so what I'm already liking about Zcal is um, I have two different meeting links that I can send to people, either 30 minutes or an hour. The reason I like this more than Calendly is because if you're using the free plan on Calendly, you can only send one type, meaning you could only send out a 15 or 30 minute or an hour. So i um, already loving this because I've got uh, extra options. Uh, let's explore the one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so the one-on-one, -on -one is awesome. Look at this welcome video. Okay, we're gonna create a one-on-one -on -one together. So I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna title this discovery call. If you're not already familiar with this term, a discovery call is uh, uh, the call or video chat that you have with your client before you actually sign them. Basically think of this as your pitch or your sales call. I've got tons of videos about discovery calls. So be sure to check those out too. 
Um, so I want to be sure that I have a discovery call link. Perhaps I will include this link in my email signature so clients know how to book calls with me. I'm going to, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. I was wrong. You actually can connect to things like Google Meet or, or Teams or text so I could include my phone number. Okay, I am rescinding points from Calendly and I am giving them to Zcal. But since I've already connected my Zoom, I'm just gonna go ahead and work in the Zoom. Uh, then I will include a little description of what this is so that when I send this to clients, so I'll say, um, don't mind the odd phrasing there, I'm doing this live, you guys. Uh, okay, so cover photo, what's this all about? The cover photo is the image at the top of your page that stretches to fit your browser. That's very interesting. Look at the example they're giving of this open house. Oh, I like this. We could do something. Oh, and you know I love a good real estate that still advertises your services as a VA. Um, you know what you could do here? You could use Canva, uh, which is a free drag and drop tool. Very simple to create great graphics like this house down here. And what we could do is include um, something that that includes your services, your hours, maybe your your niche. Um, in fact, give me a second. I'm going to whip one up right now. Okay, so I'm going to upload that photo that I just made. Oh, I like that you can add pre-made pictures. Um, it is nice to have a background that's a pre-made picture, but I always suggest that you use whatever real estate you have to, to advertise your own services. Um, so if, if this were for a client, I would probably switch it up. Um, but for the sake of just keeping this video going, I have a banner that tells you what I do and my website. I like that. Um, loving this welcome video. Bring your page to life with a welcome, <laughs> Ooh, with a welcome video. Okay, wow. I think the reason this is lagging is because I'm recording myself and myself and my screen all at the same time. Kudos to MacBook Airs for keeping it real. All right, uh, doing a list on the fly, so here we go. Hi, I'm Erin, a virtual assistant and VA mentor. I help VAs like you niche down, find better clients, and make profit from day one. I'm really excited to meet you and can't wait to see you on the call. Hi, I'm Erin, a virtual assistant and VA mentor. I help VAs like you niche down, find better clients, and... Hi, I'm Erin. That 15 seconds is going to kill me. And you know what? We're just going to keep it. All right, so note to self, 15 seconds goes by fast, but I am loving that you can do a little blurb about yourself right on your invite. So let's keep that one and keep on moving. So I want my one-on-one -on -one to be 30 minutes, date range, one week into the future. That just means how far you want people to be able to book calls with you. Uh, one week is, is fine for now. Next. Okay, all right, I like this. I can add, oh, create a one-on-one -on -one Invite. Oh, I love this. Oh, points for Zcal over Calendly for sure. Uh, customize the event name. Custom questions. Ask inv in invitees uh, for more than just their name and email. Wow. Okay, so I'm asking potential clients for their name, their email. This is amazing. Let's add a long term. If this were something for clients, for example, I would say, what services are you looking for? Oh, I love this. And then it can be required or not required. That's amazing. Okay, I am loving Zcal so far. Okay, minimum notice, how far can somebody book with you? I'm gonna say an hour. I don't like last minute calls, that's just me. Uh -huh -huh. And then invite to local. Okay, let's create this invite. I've got my custom questions, now I've got my link. Oh, I wanna see what this looks like. 
Oh, look at this. Paste your custom link into a mailing so you can put it on your email signature, a web page, social media. No sign up is required for your client to book the meeting. This is amazing. I'm going to open an incognito window because I want to see what this looks like when potential clients click on this link. Okay, so we are now viewing this as a potential client. Oh man, this is amazing. Oh, I'm obsessed with this and I definitely am gonna be adding more emojis right here. Mm -mm, copy emoji, watch out. This is freaking awesome. So they see my banner, that gives them a better sense of my services, um, whatever, whatever it is you wanna put on your banner. They can click a video. Hi, I'm Erin, a virtual assistant and VA mentor. I help VAs like you. Oh, I love this. I could not love ZCal more. So friends, this video was me doing this live. I'm so glad you stuck with me. ZCal, goodbye Calendly, hello ZCal. This might be the best video tool I have ever seen. Tell me what you guys think about this tool. Did you sign up and do this live with me in person? Or after watching this video, are you going to sign up for ZCal link? Because I am super pumped about this one. Mm. Thank you guys for watching me. I know this was new. I've never done a live tool tutorial before, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. Thank you for sticking with me and I'll see you guys on the next video.